Okay, so in this video, we flew over the NASA shuttle landing facility, Tango Tango Sierra, right here. And it was kind of odd because the tower was closed. So when the tower is open, it acts as a class delta. And when it's closed, it acts as a class golf airspace. And basically, the tower is open from 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, unless there's something special going on, which there always is. If we look at the airport facility directory, it says that right here. So the best way to do it is to fly near the uh, near the airspace and just contact NASA Tower, um, which is 128.55 right here. And that's also the CTAF when the tower is closed, which it was when we flew. We decided to fly at 500 feet because that's a minimum altitude. Um, we were not over open water, um, so that was the lowest we could go. So that's as low as we went for the low pass. In this video, we fly to the coast as the sun sets and then make a low pass over the shuttle landing facility at night. Hope you enjoy. Where from? Pre-taxi avionics on, transponders on 1200, flaps are up, radios will test on the way out, and GPS validate, but this one doesn't have a GPS in it, so. Plate expired. That's okay. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, um, that's embarrassing though. I, th I think mine expired here too, I just see yeah, I had an update, um, terminal charts, yep, so it just, must have just happened. Yeah. Do you want to taxi out to spot five yeah, sure. first, though, so we're not in between the hangars here? So, sure. clear, clear right, clear center. Clear left. Okay. Do you want to check your brakes? Yep, brakes are good. Your brakes are good. Left. Okay. Right. Both. Mine are good. Okay. Sorry, I hope I didn't make your stomach nope, upset. Nope, you're good. <laughs> I'll go ahead and flip on the uh, taxi light here. Yeah, perfect. I'll turn on navs, too. Perfect. Okay, so we are, uh, we're, we're both strobes working for you, uh, yeah. on the wings? Okay, perfect. Okay, we are here between the T hangers, we're going to taxi out to spot 5 over there, there's no hot spots. On the way, clear right? Clear left. So cool, seeing a... Yeah, right? 320, just chill in there. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, the takeoff's going to be nice at least. Oh, it's going to be beautiful, yeah. I think we're going to make it there when it's not dark it should, outside. It should be pretty close, I think. Yeah, yeah. Pretty pretty damn close. I think this is going to be close to perfect. Yeah. Your Stratus isn't giving me location for some reason. I wonder why. Because the plate's expired. Oh, so it doesn't give you location? It, it turns off the geolocating when the plate's expired, yeah. But it will it'll give it to you on there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you can probably cut the corner off here and okay. just head uh, over kind of towards that kilo position sign. Okay. Set for ground. Good evening, Skyhawk Niner seven six five zero spot five information Bravo VFR to the east one thousand five hundred. You've gotten more professional since the last time we've flown. We've <laughs> gotten more figure. like eloquent. Yes, yes. That and they tell me that's a big part of your commercial check ride is being uh, very professional about everything and using your checklists and not. You know, messing around. Not messing around with that stuff, yeah. I'll lean a little more. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. Okay. Dude, I flew I flew 1.9 on the Hobbs today, two, two, six, zero, today and departure, one, five, only burned 10.8 gallons of gas. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's all, those, all those power off 180s, you know, gliding. Flight 693, you said you want two laps that, in the pattern. That's crazy. Flight 693, caution, wait, turbulence, Airbus departing now, runway 2, some right, clear for the option. Got the Airbus right there. Airbus or Boeing? I don't know. I like Boeing because it's American. Yeah, me too. Made, but aesthetically, I think the Airbuses look cooler, though, than like a 737. Number 97650, maintain VFR to below 1,500. Departure frequency 135.3, squawk 0361. Okay, VFR at or below 1,500, departure 135.3, squawk 0361, and we are ready to taxi from spot 5, uh, 650. 
Number six, five zero, read back correct. Thanks for your patience. From my two seven right at Romeo. Taxi via Kilo Bravo, Romeo, right side. Two seven right at Romeo. Taxi Kilo Bravo, Romeo. Six five zero. Okay. All right. Cool. So we are here at Kilo. We're going to be left on Kilo. This is a hot spot for the approach end of nine center. So uh, use caution there. Right on Bravo, Whatever and then left on. Romeo, which is going to take us to 27. Number three, Charlie, okay, cool. Lane center, light, or, uh, taxi light on. Clear right. Clear left. Um, we need your maintenance ground. Yeah, we can. Yes, sir. This is a uh, uh, your maintenance 326. We're at gate 9. We need to use Charlie to go to the south of us. Once we get in the air, I'll, I'll request south with uh, approach. Yeah. Got sure. that. We'll please Charlie. Lead your maintenance 326. Clear left. Clear right. All right, so this is Kilo, and then yes. we'll take a right on the Bravo once we see that sign. To make sure we don't do it prematurely. Okay, we're clear on the departure end of 9 Center here. Okay. I was landing here on 9 Center the other day, uh -huh. and I landed right over the top of a great big frickin' jet that was taxiing right here, and I went right over the top of him. I was like, that's scary. Like, oh, wow. This is really random, but have you seen those videos of, like, those pilots in South America landing on, like, strips that are, like, the width of a sidewalk? And they're, like, yeah. dirt strip. They're so yeah. scary. It's, like, in between trees. and Yeah, no kidding. It's crazy. Bucky 311, runway 2. All right, we're going to take a right up here on to yep, Bravo. Yep, be a right on Bravo. And this is Bravo. Bravo, identified by the sign. They can't just give us east. That's interesting. I wonder why. Oh, because of the... No, no. I don't, I don't know why. Huh. I've, I've never had them say that before. Interesting. Oh, yeah. And I'm sorry. Yeah, it is, it is southeast of here, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a big deal. I wonder what the winds are doing out there. It looks like it is going to be nighttime, actually. I was wrong. <laughs> it's getting close to it. Yeah. No observation. So that restricted area above all the rest of this stuff is going to be, let's see, ground to unlimited. And we're going to 27, at, 27 right at Romeo. 27 right at Romeo, correct. So we have 11,000 to unlimited there. Okay, so it's over here. Central Aircraft Stanford, ADIS information, Charlie's current. Uh, Five thousand to unlimited. So twenty nine thirty three is what I'm going to ask him. Is twenty nine thirty three hot or cold? Yeah, but honestly, I feel like we'll just be better off saying we want to overfly the shuttle facility, like to approach. Well, I heard a guy try to do that one time, and it didn't work out so well for him. But oh, really? Did they get mad at him or something? Yeah. By 693, right traffic, walk this far. So, five, yeah, 5,000 to unlimited. Because that last time I overflew the shuttle facility, I had a... Three, Charlie, Mike, Kilo, one, Kilo, me, today. I had a discussion with the controller about this. Ground to 1,900, so... Are you friends with the controller? No, I'm not friends with him, but I... He... They're usually very friendly there, and he just... He, right. he talked and talked and talked about it. So. This is Romeo, right? This is Romeo, so. yep. So, we're going to be left... We're going to be left on Romeo here, and then hold short of... Two seven right. Then you, we're on tower already, actually. Yeah, basically. So we'll switch it over here and then put thirty five three in here. All right. So pre takeoff checklist, please. Okay, we did the pre takeoff checklist. So our takeoff checklist um, is going to be this one. It's going to be the runway identified, crosswind correction, full throttle gauges in the green, airspeed alive, uh, and then rotate at fifty five and then have an abort plan. So you, since you are PIC on this takeoff, you can make your own abort plan. Okay, so uh, this will be a standard takeoff from the left seat. Any engine abnormalities will abort on the ground. If we're on the ground, if we're above 500 feet, uh, we'll consider. But this is a long enough runway where if we take off and we 
notice something, we'll be able to land if we're there below 500 okay. feet. Then above 500. We'll All right, back to 311. We're about done for that. For that's pretty stuff. much it. Okay. Questions? Sounds good. Nope, no questions. Okay, cool. Sanford Tower, Skyhawk 9 or 7650, holding short of 27 right at Romeo, ready for departure. Allegiant, did you call ready to go? Uh, Niner 7650 called ready to go 27 right at uh, Romeo. Niner 7650, Sam Fly runway heading runway 27 right at Romeo, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading runway 27 right at Romeo, clear for takeoff 650. Okay. All right, landing way on strobes on. All right, we have all the light. Who wanted it? Okay. Bucky three. Go, man. Make sure you're rich. Transponders on altitude, runway is verified. Three limb change runway right. Two seven center, two seven center, two seven center, two seven center, clear to land. Bucky three eleven, thank you. Elite nine two hundred Stanford. You you start your pushback already, or you still at the gate? All right. Uh, let's hold your push. I got company. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you're you're going to be in conflict with company at this moment. He's on the tow. I don't think so. Airspeed's alive. Engine instruments are in the green. 45, 50, 55. No problem. Lead 9 2 on push back car through. Oh, yeah, for, uh, five, when able, right turn heading. 310, 310. 310 when able, 650. I'll do 310 at 500 feet. Okay. Right, 72 knots. Uh, we're 300 feet, we're clear of obstacles. Yeah, we now. should be good. What is it for an instrument turnout? Do you remember? It's 400, isn't it? I thought it was 500. Yeah, maybe it is 5C. I'm already forgetting 4, 5, 8, 7, <laughs> 6, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 8, 10, 458 uh, read back, correct. 1,000 feet? Uh, 1,500. 1,500. Yep, yep. Uh, Quad AI. AI. <laughs> <laughs> I put it up there so it's a little reminder. Oh, okay. That's but cool. 693, uh, left turn at I Romeo. Don't have a, I don't have a heading box, so that's usually what I use. Yeah. Romeo, yeah. Where we'll One around. thing we forgot to check was dash lights. Good night. Remember, 650 contact will land approach 135.3 safe flight. 353, 650. Be a part of the day tool, and they can be in a departure, Scott 945, Mike Charlie 38 on the heading, 1000 for 3500. Scott 945, Mike Charlie, land of departure, I then come and maintain 2000, clear into Cross Bravo. Clear into Cross Bravo, up to 2500, uh, 945, Mike Charlie. I'm going to my train, just 2,000, 2,000 only for now. I wrote a contact two miles north of Orlando Executive. Orlando altimeter is 3,007. Somewhere up to 2,000, and then uh, can I resume our navigation over to Titusville? I'm going to my train, turn right on course. They expect a runway 18, advise it is Charlie. Right on course, and I will let you know when I get the weather. I'm going to my Charlie. Number 26 Delta, Charlie Orlando departure, I then, climb will maintain 4,000. 4,000 right then, 26 Delta Charlie. Orlando departure, Skyhawk 9 or 7650, Office of Sanford, heading 310, 1500. Orlando yeah, departure, I then maintain 2,500 or below, resume navigation northeast, your radar contact. 2,500 or below, ONAV uh, northeast, 650. Uh, yeah. Number two, so you don't have to tell you about our contact. I'm going to leave the airport. 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 I'm going to and I'll go up to 2,500. There you go. Why not? Uh, good afternoon, Bucky 694. It feels so good to fly VFR. Uh, we're right. <laughs> because even last time when I flew, I flew IFR. Bucky at Sanford, taking the call sign. Bucky 694. Okay, climb checklist, obstacles are Bucky clear. Bucky 694, Lando, Fog 76 zero. or greater. And then gauges in the green. Well, okay, Sanford's airspace is at 2,000. 
It goes up to 3,000. Uh, so, yeah. Bucky 694, squad uh, zero, are three, we cleared seven, into it? Six. We're not cleared zero, into the Bravo, three, no, six, so. Not, not the Bravo, no, sorry. Uh, 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 Do you want to go a little bit more uh, uh, northeast, and as soon as we're outside of his airspace up here, then he'll cut us loose and go do whatever, so. Bucky 694, about a contact, one mile south of a pop car, Lindo on 3007, say request. Yeah. Lucky 694, Roger, expect the RNA roomie 27 left, maintain VFR 2000, cleared into class Bravo, fly heading 090. 090 to Bravo, 694, thank you. Now we're 26 Delta Charlie, contact approach 124.8, take care. 124.8, 26 Delta Charlie. This thing is so easy to fly. This, this airplane flies really nice. Yeah, 9945 Mike Train Roger, maintain 3,500 or below. I just wish he'd put like some better radios and stuff in, you know. Yeah. I like it though. I like it more than 3 Charlie. Orlando, uh, 26 Delta Charlie's Richard, just coming out of 3 for 4. I believe we're clear to 5. Yeah, my 26 Delta Charlie, affirmative, maintain 5,000 and contact approach 124.8. Oh, sorry about that. One two four point eight. Step to five uh, two six double charge. Yep, two. Okay, what is their tower frequency over here? Info. It says they're only open till five, but I think they're I think they're still open twenty eight fifty five. Alright, um, we're, we're outside of the 10 mile radius, so I can turn off landing light unless you want to keep no, it on. that's fine, go, go, go for it, so. Alright, landing uh, lights off, taxi lights we'd off. We can also do a cruise checklist, which would be uh, power set, mixture lean, taxi landing light off, instrument set, and check your DG to compass setting. Okay, um, good call, it's a little off. And then, uh, let's see, landing lights off, instruments, uh, and then you could you could go ahead and lean it a little bit, uh, okay. I suppose, if you'd like. That's probably good enough, because we're at 2,500. That's probably fine. Okay, he should cut us loose here any second, and then we could just kind of follow outside, the, outside that Bravo around. Uh-huh. Well, actually, we're going to be... Number 97650, radar separate Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, take care. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved, 650, okay. Uh, well, outside the, outside the Charlie anyways, so. And that restricted is, um... 11,000. 11,000. Yep, okay. so, we can follow that around. So, are you, are you thinking about calling up tower, or... Um, yeah, I'll, when, when we get closer, I'll just go direct to tower, so. Yeah, this thing is, like, amazing. <laughs> I want to do my commercial on this. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know if I'll, I'll get to it with all of my schoolwork this time. Oh, sure. Yeah. Bucky 694, are, are you one planning one on doing it, though, at some oh, point? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, for okay. sure. Okay, yeah. I want to get my... Commercial before I turn 19, just so oh, I can nice. say. Just uh, yeah. say you did it. 7900 yeah. for descent is approved yeah. at your discretion when you are ready. Okay, yeah, we'll start down in a couple of minutes. I'll advise when I leave this altitude, sir. Roger that. It's kind of aggressive. <laughs> I was going to say, what the heck? <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Look behind you, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. It's really pretty. Well, we're, yeah. Oh, yeah, at least your cameras are facing that way. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. For sure. I'm excited for commercial maneuvers and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm excited for that yeah. for sure. You get to you know do some do some more uh, more like performance maneuvers instead of just the standard basic like you know fly the airplane straight and level stuff. Yeah. So there's there's one maneuver where you're you you do a steep turn and you stall the airplane in a steep turn. Yeah. So you do a steep turn, you just keep pulling up, pulling up, pulling up till it stalls. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. What is that called again? Uh, accelerated stall. Accelerated stall. Yep. Yep. 
Yeah, because you have that centripetal acceleration, right? Right, exactly. Um, and your uh, the, the the steeper your angle of bank, your uh, your stall speed increases because you need you know as you bank, your vertical component of lift shifts to a horizontal component of lift, so you're you're closer to your critical angle of attack as it is. Uh -huh. So um, you're going to stall at a uh, higher airspeed. Yeah. So oh, you're you, right. Usually you do it at 80 knots, and then you pull back till you stall, and it stalls at maybe 70-ish. So, yeah, out wow. in a 45-degree bank, yeah. 700 above us. How come I don't see this guy yet? 790, we have that traffic. Oh, he's got us. Number 790, Roger, you're leaving the Linda area. Radar service terminates, Bronx BFR, frequency tune approved. Take care. Have a nice evening, thank you. Oh, is that him? No. Is that him? That's, no, that's, that can't be. No, no that's, that's probably... Oh, I got him, I got him. He's right there. Okay. He's above us. Okay, 458 Orlando, I-10, maintain 2,500 yeah, below. We other, uh, navigation to yeah, the northeast. Right I've got oh, two. Oh, you're going down to the north target. Same altitude, yeah. Yeah, that's not the one that I want. Yeah, that's not the one that I'm looking at. That The same altitude one is going from our... Oh, they're turning... Toward us. Um, okay, we got. Okay, okay. We got okay. another. Yep, 500 feet above. We, we can switch to uh, practice area frequency here too. One, two, three, five. Going down to two. Yeah. Look at that. He's pretty close to us. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like if we didn't descend, <laughs> that could have been bad. That could have been. Yeah. Okay, so how far are we from our destination here? 22 miles. I'll call up uh, Space Coast here, see if they're awake in there. Hey there. What type of airplane is that? Looks sleek, whatever it is. It's a twin. Uh, it's a twin. Yeah, I think it's one of those Bucky twins. It says, it says Epic Red on here. Epic Red? Yeah. Or, yeah, Epic, uh, a, Epic uh, Aviation. Yeah, I think that's a flight school. Yeah. Oh my god, look at the sunset. Oh, that's awesome. It just keeps on getting better and yeah, better. it does, doesn't it? I hope we can turn towards the co I can start turning, actually. Yeah, you got, you got plenty of room here, so... Okay, the low traffic is behind us now. We will have somebody converging from over here, 2,500 feet above us, though, so should be of no no factor. Awesome. Approach Skyhawk 97650. Do you uh, know by chance what time Space Coast Tower closes? Space Coast Tower? Oh, I'm, I'm, oh shit, I'm space. Oh, that's a tricky one. I think it's 9 o'clock, but let me make sure. For now, 9 o'clock, I think. Space Coast Tower. I'm sorry, sir. I I uh, spoke too quickly there. I meant the uh, shuttle landing facility tower for six five zero. Okay, that one's even trickier. Um, depends the day, depends what's going on, and and all that good stuff. Technically, it's a nine to five kind of operation, but um, they have seen them there all night. I've seen them there, not at all. So it really depends. Okay, yeah, we weren't able to get a hold of them. Uh, would you know uh, then uh, off? hand if uh, restricted area 2934 is hot or cold right now? Okay, yeah. Right now the tower is closed and 2934 is inactive. The only thing that's continuously active is 32. Okay, 32 is the only continuous active one at this time. Uh, 650, thanks for the help. Number 6 Alpha, contact Orlando, 124.8. Take care. So... Are we allowed to over? Number 377 yep. here, Tango yep. departure. So we'll just go in there and do it now. like a normal, uh, like a normal class Delta. We, we're not allowed to touch down, though. Yeah. Yep. 450 Bravo Victor, we do have exact in sight. So 30. So he said 32 is the only continuous active one. So we we could fly above it in 2933. Um, but yeah, but we have to be really careful. Yeah, so that's pretty close. Well. Kind of right. Yeah, right. It's on the left side of the runway. Right, yeah, exactly, yeah. 
NASA landing facility. Traffic, Skyhawk 97650, 12 to the north. Going to be overflying the runway at 500 feet. Uh, NASA Tower. So, yeah, you're basically on center line right now, just about. Try, try more distinctive clicks. So, like, let me try. Okay. Yeah, it's right there, and it's not it's not lighting up, unfortunately. So, they must not have uh, pilot controlled lighting. Is there a uh, yeah? Oh, there there's a star by the light, so we should be able to light it up. Yeah. Are we on the right frequency? It's one two eight point five five. Yeah, that's what you have in there. One two eight five five. One two eight five five. Yeah. One two eight five five. One two eight five five. Maybe it needs three clicks. Yeah, I'll try that. Oh, I mean, I see it now. Yeah. I did not see it before. There's there's a happy light, right? Or what is that's not a happy light. It usually does. It's it's straight in front of us. Yeah. That's something else blinking over there, but yeah. Oh yeah, there there's a happy light there, I think, yeah. It's very weird though, like it's not very clear. Yeah, well, the pilot controlled lighting is not working for some reason. Yep. It's okay. Yeah, whatever. Is there a restriction on how low we can go? 500. Yeah, so... NASA traffic, Skyhawk 97650, to the north, going to be overflying runway 15, 500 feet, NASA traffic. Yeah, what are those lights up there? I don't know. The runway is to your right of our oh. position. It's over here. Yeah. Yeah, you're there you're looking at something else there. The runway's actually over here, so Okay. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, there there are a couple little red lights to the left of it. Yeah. Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. That's so sad. <laughs> right. Hey, I mean now we have a good plan for another day. Right, right. Do you feel like a spaceship right now? Oh yeah. Ooh, that's freaking cool. Look at that. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Alright, I'm gonna go down. Pull the car key, go down to 500. Slowly. Got the landing lights on, shrubs, make sure you're going full rich. It's still cool. NASA traffic, Skyhawk 650, 4 mile final, runway 15, going to be overflying at 500 feet, NASA traffic. That's the, the complex, the space shuttle complex. It is, yes. Yep. Alright. Oh, I'm so upset. <laughs> I wonder why they turned that off. Wow.
gotta find something you love to do. Well, that has to be the biggest the runway I've ever seen. This is the longest runway in the world though, right? I don't think so. They said there's a 16,000 foot runway in China somewhere. I'm sure Dubai has a pretty big one too. I've been to that airport before. Oh really? Yeah. I've always wanted to go there. I've never actually you know, stayed in Dubai oh, sure. or just uh, layover to go to India. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. So cool. And I'm sure it's huge and it's all it's massive. All freaking Yeah, all freaking modern and top top line technology shit. They pumped so much money into it. Yeah. I believe it's launch pad 39A. Yes, uh, I yeah. think it is, yeah. Right there it is, yep. And then that's the space shuttle. Yeah, they have one sitting down there. Yeah. Right um, there. Yeah, I'll bank a little. Oh yeah. <laughs> the lights are on inside of it. Yeah, they are. That's okay. crazy. Huh. Actually, I think the southern tower here that's lit lit up is 39A. Yeah, yeah. B, yeah, B is the northern one. And then that one over there that's lit up, that's... um. Uh, uh, United Launch Alliance. Oh, okay. Yep. Pretty sweet being able to close that, fly this close to the vehicle assembly building. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. Oh, I wonder why they have firefighters. Yeah, I don't know. Or ambulances. Hopefully that's not be the bus. Right? <laughs> yeah, don't go, uh, don't go any further to the, uh, right. east, though, from this Our position. Left. Yeah. Oh well. It's actually gonna start turning to the right. That is bonkers. Yeah. Oh, I'm well. pretty sure this is like the closest you can get legally. Like because people don't come this close, you know? Right, right, exactly. Because exactly. they're all over there. All the, right. Yeah, yeah. Or over there. Yeah, that's that rocket they're going to launch here on Friday. You can see it sticking up there. Yeah, right there, yep. right? Yep. That's awesome. That is so cool. So yeah, that's where they'd roll the space shuttle out back in the day. It was right down that road. That's awesome. I've never seen a launch from like this area, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, we went and watched one from the air not that long ago. It was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I remember. I had an exam the next day. Yeah. Our 
Arthur Dunn Air Park. Automated weather observation. Two, three, four, one. Zulu weather. Wind calm. Visibility Wind calm. one. All right, so do you want to enter a right base for runway 33? So, yeah, let's let's do that. Right base for 33. All right, your controls. Okay, my controls. Your controls. My controls. I'm going to sit back and relax. Okay. All right, so your car beat is pulled. Make sure it's rich. Okay, Fuel perfect. Both. All of your lights are on. Okay, we'll start our... Low descent here. Bounce. Is that it? No. Uh, yeah, there's lights flashing there. That's got to be it. So. Oh yeah, I see the beacon. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I always forget about the beacon. Okay. They're about uh, four miles. What's the tail number? <laughs> uh, nine seven six five zero. Other downfield. Nine seven six five zero. Skyhawk. Uh, right base runway three three. Arthur down. Nine seven six five zero. Yes, that's nice. such an annoying. Right. It's just all numbers. Yeah, it is kind of annoying. It's nice when it has a letter. Yeah. Associated with it. And that tower is at four hundred feet, so you should be good. You're at okay. Eight fifty. We're pretty high here, so I'm not going to watch my speed. Okay, that's good. Maybe can practice the flip. Yeah. Arthur Dump traffic, Skyhawk 650, turn final, runway 33, Arthur Dump. There's no Vassy, so that's always nice at night. Gotta love it. <laughs> it's an air park. An air park. Surprised it has lights on the right. Place. It does have high intensity lights. Got that water tower. Prepare to embark upon the dark path. We're 20 high, we're 20 fast. This is not going to be kind. We this off. This will probably be a full stop, right? I don't know. We're going to see. Perfect. Yeah, this turns out. There's a bit of a displaced threshold here. Hard to see the airspeed. It looks like we're at about 65. Get flat under full. Lust for revenge pushed him to and beyond the limit where normal men would fall.